The truck market is off to a rough start in 2024. Ram is dropping prices up to 20%. Ford lots are still overflowing with 2023 model trucks. Toyota has more Tundra inventory than I've seen in the past two years, and Chevy has discounts on every single truck that you see behind me. The truck market was full of highs and lows in 2023, and it looks like 2024 might not be much better. Truck prices are out of control, and this year the CEOs of Ford and GM are raising prices even higher. And despite steep discounts in December and a boost in sales, many dealers are still flooded with expensive 2023 year model trucks. And we're already in 2024. In my last video, I was in Scottsdale, Arizona and saw some of the most overpriced trucks on the market. This time I'm back in Boise, Idaho, and just a few weeks after the new year, the market has already taken a massive dive. Dealers are hurting and some of them have huge discounts on their inventory. This drop in prices could be a huge win for you, the truck buyer. So in this video, I'm going to go to Ram, Ford, Toyota, and Chevy to see what inventory numbers are like, how many new trucks they have stacked on their lots, and how much the discounts are off of MSRP. And once I got to the dealerships, what I saw was a huge shock to my brain. All right, I'm here back in Boise, Idaho at a very, very snow covered Jeep and Ram dealership here. And I wanted to start here because Ram and Jeep with the Gladiator have been the slowest selling pickup trucks uh, of 2023. And going into 2024, I have a feeling that that might not change very much. We've still got a full row all the way back here. They've got some at that back row. They've got uh, an entire row of more like heavy duty trucks back here. And something that I haven't seen in a while uh, at a lot of dealerships, we have some dually. So we got a few white dually here there's a nice uh, maroon right here and I haven't really seen very many duallys we also got another row full of trucks on both sides right here and last time I was here I found a truck that was some kind of high trim level that was like $147,000 and I was trying to find it uh, here's another row this is where all the heavy duty Cummins turbo diesel trucks are and uh, those Cummins engines have their own set of problems right now in case you haven't seen any of those videos. But we have a bunch here and that hundred and something thousand dollar, whatever trim level that was, I don't see that around here anymore. Let's see how much this one is right here. So I do think they are starting to move some of these higher priced trucks. So you gotta clear all the snow off here. Oh, here, here's one. This is probably, this is a different one though because this actually is a 2024 Ram 2500 Night Mega Cab 4x4, price of $108,525. So this is still one of the most expensive, kind of standard non like TRX pickup trucks that I have seen. Um, those dualies are even cheaper over there. But it looks like back in December, Ram did sell quite a few of the 2023s that were stuck here. And if you're wondering, do I ever go talk to the people here at the dealership. I did that right when I got here and they showed me something very interesting that if you've been waiting to buy a truck, you might actually be able to get a good deal on 2023s that they've had here for a while. Let me show you. So they've got a row of, it looks like 2023 models that have been here for a while, but there is uh, some good thing about some of these leftover 2023s. These right here are the Eco Diesels, which are really good engines. But as you can see, they have written on the side, save up to 20% off MSRP, which means you could get you a pretty good deal if you buy here at a time when it's a bit slow and not as many people are shopping. I mean, they've got quite a few here and it looks like they are all diesel. So this is a 2023 1500 4x4, still kind of pricey at $74,800. But again, you do get 20% off of that. Still kind of pricey, but a little bit better than what we've been looking at the past few years. They do have something else cool here uh, that I haven't seen in a while. They do have a nice TRX blue one over here as well. And I'm curious to see how much the blue one is. I like this color, it's a really good color. I'll go to the other side so you can see it in the sunlight, but uh, this is a 2024, so it's a brand new 2024. Uh, looks like a V8 final edition, um, cause it looks like uh, TRX with the V8 sadly might be going away. I heard there might be some sort of twin turbo V6 they're testing, um, but this final edition will cost you $125,265. And it uh, looks like there's no markup on it. That looks super nice. So I talked to the sales manager here and he said it is a bit slow coming into January. And as you can see, you know, they do have quite a bit. There's not many empty spots. There's one or two here and there. They don't have very many 2023s left. What they do have left over from 2023, they are marking down. Uh, it looks like up to 20% off here at Ram. And then I talked to one of the sales guys that I've talked to before, and he said uh, it's been pretty slow for him as well. So the market has definitely slowed down quite a bit. Now let's go 
to Ford and see if they have any discounts there and if their sales are slow as well. All right, I made it to Ford where they are still stacked with quite a few 2023 models. Of course, you've got a, a row here. This is all four lightnings this entire row going all the way back all the way to the end and this is the most four lightnings that i have ever seen at this dealership so i could probably say with confidence that those uh sales are pretty much tanked uh, on those lightnings especially right now in january but because these 23 models are still sitting around on ford's lot taking up way too much space there's actually some pretty good deals that i've found around here making some of these trucks more affordable and more in line with what prices were like back in 2019. Uh, let me show you a couple of things that i found um, that I thought were quite interesting. We've got this white F-150 four-door STX in four-wheel drive. This is still a 2023. The MSRP is $50,000. But what's cool is if you look at the discount sticker, it's no longer $50,000. So I don't know if you can see this here, but they have a dealership discount of close to $5,000 and Ford is offering a factory rebate of $1,500 um, for a total discount of $6,490, bringing this truck to $43,995. I think forty-three grand for a four-wheel drive full-size F-150 is pretty much where things should be. Um, would it be nice if it was under 40 grand starting out for a four-wheel drive? Yes, but it's kind of getting it down with that discount back to what prices were like in 2019. Um, and pretty much every vehicle on this lot now has a discount, especially if it's a 2023 model. Let's just look at this random, um, this is a Lariat here, and it is a 2023 4x4 Super Crew. Um, this does have the larger... 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine, $70,515, which obviously is ridiculous. But this one is discounted, um, total of $9,000 in discounts for $61,495, which is more reasonable for a higher trim level Lariat. One thing I found interesting is when we go look at these two Raptors. Now, last time I was here, um, there were two Raptors as well, and they both had, I think like five grand over MSRP, but because of all the discounts, these are actually not marked up anymore. This is a 2023 Raptor. Um, everyone knows what it is. But right here is just a normal window sticker without any markup shown on that sheet. So it looks like the days of this dealer marking up Raptors are done. I just found a unicorn. I found a brand new Ford Maverick sitting on the dealer lot. And not only is it sitting on the dealer lot, brand new it's a 2024 ford maverick msrp of 40,770, but it has a discount of 775 dollars bringing it to 39,995. now it's been almost impossible to find a brand new ford maverick sitting on the lot without a markup or even just sitting on the lot in general and we have a 2024 just chilling here if you've been uh, looking for a maverick we've got one here but it's not the cheaper trim level you know it's not the 20 something thousand dollar one it is a forty thousand dollar maverick but to see a maverick with any kind of discount brand new on the lot especially a 2024 is pretty rare all right we're about to head to toyota next but i want to show you something really really interesting it's not a truck but uh, an suv that was uh, really popular but way overpriced for a while so we've got an entire row of brand new ford broncos right here and if you recall just a year ago um, especially when these first came out, you couldn't find a Bronco anywhere for under MSRP, let alone just find any at the dealership. But now we have uh, pretty much every one that you could choose from. And what's even cooler is, uh, let me show you something here. We've got this uh, 2023 model, and this is the uh, Outer Banks, which is one of the higher trim levels. It does have the uh, 35 inch tires on it. But let me trudge through the snow here um, to see the sticker. So we got a 2023. Bronco, we all know all that stuff. Does have the V6 uh, EcoBoost engine. This MSRP is 64,110. But because the sales are pretty slow and they're now stacked with Broncos, instead of a markup, you get a $500 discount. I thought it would be higher, to be honest. I was kind of hyping, my, hyping myself up. This is a two-door. This one does have a bigger discount um, of $3,060, bringing it to 54,495. And uh, I just thought I'd show you that real quick because I thought it was cool to actually see some discounts on the Broncos for a change. Now let's go see what's going on at Toyota. I found one more thing. This Lincoln Navigator is very nice, but I don't think it's $108,000 worth of nice. I don't know about you, but uh, there's other cars I would rather get for $108,000. Anyways, on to Toyota. 
I'm now here at Toyota and they have more Tundra inventory than I've seen in the past two years. This goes from one end of the dealership and all the way down to the other end of the lot way back there. And normally when I've been here, I only see maybe like five to 10 full-size Tundras on the lot. And I just talked to the sales guy and he said that they do have some incentives on these Tundras. They don't have any on like the hybrid ones because they're popular and they sell pretty much when they hit the lot, he said. But a lot of these standard non-hybrid ones have been sitting on the lot for a little bit. And I want to see here at Toyota if uh, these are 2024s or if these are 2023s that they're finally just building and getting to the dealers. So let's check this one uh, right here. Got to go through all this snow again, obviously. I'm trudging through the snow for you guys. Uh, this is a Platinum Crew Max. It is a brand new 2024 model. Uh, it'll run you $66,000. And it's, uh, I'd kind of say like mid-tier to higher end trim level, but I didn't see any discounts in the window on this thing. Uh, so it looks like it's still at MSRP. Um, he said some of them had discount stickers in the windows and some of these Tundras didn't, uh, but he did say a lot of them do have discounts if you looked on their website or if you came and talked to them inside. But as you can see, this row goes all the way across pretty far. And then uh, obviously the snow here in Idaho, guys clearing it out, making a way. But it looks like here at Toyota, they do have a lot of Tundra inventory taking up quite a bit of space. Here's a trim level that I haven't seen very often is a lower, more entry level Tundra. Let's take a look and see how much it is real quick. It is the uh, SR5, pretty basic interior, cloth seats, no leather. Let's see how much it is. It is a four wheel drive, which uh, in the snow, you definitely need four wheel drive. This is also a 2024 model. It is $52,000, which is actually more expensive than that STX 4x4 uh, F-150 that we saw back there. So Toyotas are definitely, definitely getting more expensive. And one thing I wanna point out before we go to uh, GMC, cause we're gonna go to GMC and Chevy. They do have quite a bit of four runners uh, along this line too. And for the longest time, Toyota was just having trouble getting inventory. They, they would never have this many Tundras and definitely never have uh, this many forerunners here. He said back in December or late last year uh, before the holidays, they got like 80 of them uh, for the end of the year and they have about 20 left. So they did dump quite a few of them at the end of the year, but uh, they've been sitting for a little bit come January and sales have been a little bit slow, which is kind of to be expected. Now let's go to the last place and see what's going on at the GMC and Chevy dealer. All right, I finally made it to the Chevy where the snow was piling up and apparently so are the trucks. They've got a little row here that uh, goes about halfway down and it jumps into Camaro land. We got a couple of rows of trucks over here, one on the other side. And then we've got uh, two little rows here, goes about halfway down to service parking and then another row of heavy duty trucks over there. And I was just talking with the uh, sales guy inside and he said there are uh, some discounts on some of these trucks here. And uh, while, while there are a bunch of trucks here, I was almost deceived when I first got here because um, I, I pulled in and I didn't see any trucks where I saw them last time. Last time I was here, all the trucks were parked along this nice row here. Uh, that's all uh, apparently Buicks and little Chevy Blazers. Come on, let's be real, that's, that's not a real Blazer. Um, I don't know what it is, but it sucks. But uh, they do have some trucks along this front row here, uh, but not very many stacked. It looks like they just moved them to these back rows because last time I was here, they didn't have any trucks on those back rows there. But we might as well start by looking at this Z71 here. It looks like it does have a bit of a discount and it is a Trail Boss. This was a 67,665 MSRP. And it looks like it's got a $4,000 discount for $63,665 for the fully loaded Trail Boss Z71. And let's go look at the sticker real quick. I didn't see if it was a 23 or 24. Oh, this is actually a 2024 Trail Boss. So it looks like um, they're actually discounting 24 models here at Chevrolet, which I find is very interesting. Um, here's another red Trail Boss as I trudge through the snow here. This one is also a 2024 uh, with an MSRP of a little higher at $70,000. Let's see if this has a discount as well. The window's all fogged up, but the Peterson price here says $66,955. I don't know if you can uh, see that right there, but we're battling the snow here today. So it looks like that one's also discounted. 
Um, and I find it interesting that they are discounting 2024 models already. And the difference that I notice here as I wander around Chevrolet, and I gotta be quick because my battery's dying. The cold air makes the battery not last as long. Might wanna tell Tesla about that. But um, this one here also discounted from 69 to 65. They got a ton of trail bosses. Um, that one also is a 2024. But Ford was loaded with tons of 2023 models. Uh, and I'm not seeing as I walk around any uh, 23 models. Um, this one here also is a 24 trail boss. Um, we do have a cheaper trim level here uh, with all the plastic bits. Just a base 4x4 Silverado. Looks like this one is 47.4 MSRP uh, and 46.185. So you get a little bit off of the lower trim level. It does look like the higher trim levels are discounted quite a bit more, but they have a ton of trail boxes here. That's a high country right there. That's a high country. That is, what is this one? I think this one is like the ZR2. Ooh, that's cold. Yep, that's a ZR2. See how much the ZR2 is going for. This is also a 2024, um, 76,000 MSRP. The one thing I don't see in the ZR2, cause it's one of their coolest trucks, I think. There's no red discount sticker. There's another row of trucks there. So it looks like we are in the, uh, snowmageddon downfall of truck sales right now. Here's something rare, I haven't seen pretty much ever. A two-door, full-wheel drive, full-size pickup truck. This is a bit of a unicorn. You almost never see these anywhere. Uh, at Ford, Toyota, nothing but Chevy's got one. Let's see how much it is. 2024, 1500 full-wheel drive, uh, 5.3 liter V8, 46,605. I gotta say, no full-size two-door truck should be $46,000. That's just not worth it. Two doors, four by four, 46,000 bucks. That truck should be like 32 grand. Let's be honest. So it looks like all of the dealerships pretty much are discounting everything they've got. Toyota, a little bit less. They're not really posting anything on the windows of their trucks, but sales at all these dealerships are pretty slow in January. Ford's so slow that the sales manager said he's going to do further markdowns in February. Um, if they don't sell enough in January uh, because he said they got to make room for new inventory. So they're still trying to get rid of these 2023 models. Chevy looks like they're doing a good job of all their 23s are gone. They now have all these 24s. So if you wait another month or so, interest rates are starting to come down from what I hear. And it looks like discounts are going to come even further, especially on Ford where they still have 2023 models left.